Watts. I'd like you to introduce yourself and the members of your band, and I'd like uh, uh, the members who can speak English, uh, uh, you know, adequately to uh, say a little bit something about themselves. And I know there's at least one gentleman who probably doesn't know too much English, so I think you could help him with that. Yeah, well, on the bass uh, from Barcelona is uh, Jordi Cobre, um, great bass player. We've been playing together for about a year now. First time in the United States, so he's enjoying it. Cool. And on the drums, we got uh, the great Rob Davies, we playing together for about 10 years already. And on the guitar, uh, you know him already, it's Albert Greenlight, playing together for more than 15 years. Right. And my name is Alex Zayas, and thanks for having us back. Hey, it's my pleasure. So I would ask you guys to do, if you could play us like about four tunes off your set list, I'd appreciate uh, that. Absolutely. Okay. Won't you have a beverage with me? I would love to hear your new song. My favorite restaurant has a first name. It's D O C K E R S. My favorite restaurant has a second name. It's N O R T H. Oh, I love to eat here every day. And if you ask me, I will say D O C K E R S. N O R T H is the best. <laughs> Sorry, Grandpa.
That was Deal With The Blues from my latest album called Deal With The Blues.
except for my third album. When mom was being discharged from the hospital, dad was very happy that he called Oracle Home Health because mom was homebound. When it's time for in-home care, Oracle Home Health brings quality and compassion to your home. With Oracle Home Health, an RN will customize a plan of care to meet mom's needs. Because mom deserves to be home, relaxing in her own bed. Call 224-470-5130. Take advantage of quality home care with Oracle Home Health. Well, you know, last time you were on our show, you mentioned Hook Herrera. Mm -hmm. So after the show, I friended Hook Herrera on Facebook, uh -huh. and I sent him, you know, a copy of that that appearance that you made. Mm -hmm. He's a very nice fellow. Oh, yes, he is. And so yesterday, I sent him a note, and I said, um, Hey, Hook, tomorrow afternoon, Alex Zayas and his band will appear on my radio <coughs> TV show. Mm -hmm. In a nutshell, with Al Weissman, Alex always speaks of you with the greatest respect. I was wondering whether you have any message for Alex or anything you would like me to pass along to him. Mm -hmm. So he answered. Hold that right on. He said, Hook Herrera, my thanks for his respect. Indeed, an honor to know this. You can tell him I miss him and I'm so glad he is living the life. Mm -hmm. So glad he knows the road and leading a band and to please stay safe. Love Alex and his whole beautiful family that have always been so kind to me. I'm glad I was able to pass on what was passed on to me in honor. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, what yeah. a guy. Yeah. He thinks pretty highly of you, I'll say that. Well, I was really young when he, he oh. got me in his band. I was like, not even 18, I think, or just a turn 18. So I was like a little baby. I was on stage looking like, like a puppy. You know? <laughs> oh. Like, it was, you know, playing and start traveling with him in Europe, like Belgium, Luxembourg, Holland. And he was, you know, I had the chance to meet other musicians too through him. That you you watch you can watch and hang with them and go have a drink with them and talk about music. So start growing up a lot, and then from Hoop, you know, I went to other places too. But Hoop was the first my first mentor. It was uh -huh. the, the the guy who opened the door for me. How'd you meet Hook? He used to be he, he's from he's from L.A. from Los Angeles. But he, he started coming to uh, this place called La Boite. He's not they shut it down, but he was the best nightclub and music venue in Barcelona. Oh really? They should they normally bring um they would bring in like international acts. So I started playing there. I was I was going to see Hook like twice a year because they hired him with his band from the, from the States. So I was like a customer. I, every time Hook played there I was going there with my friends and my brother. And one time he played um one song Chili's Con Carne from Kenny Burrell. But he was doing the Buddy Guy you know one version so I uh, approached him and I told him about, I love the, the, the song that you play. So, oh, you play guitar? So he said, tomorrow you bring your guitar, I got you on stage. So he got me on stage and I guess he liked what he heard. And the next day he called me if he wanted to join his band. Wow, wow. that's pretty nice. Yeah, it was great. I was like, when well, he called me in my house, I was like sleeping. And he was like, hey, Alex, this is who? And I'm like, I was just waking up. I said, who? I said, I got nervous and shit. Like, yeah. Aww. But yeah, he just said, uh, come to the rehearsal. And, and, and he got me for a couple of shows. And they said, you're in, man. You're, you're part of the band. So that was great. I'll always be thankful for that. That's always. cool. Very, very nice story. Yeah. So we got Barcelona, 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 and West Rogers Park. <laughs> <laughs> One of these things is different. From Michigan. Yeah. Right now from Michigan. We have an ongoing discussion on, in a nutshell, on the subject of musical hooks. You, you write a lot of music. Mm -hmm. Do you ever give thought to hooks in your music or, I mean, you may not, it may not even occur to you that you need to put a hook in there or whatever it is, but if you do, I thought I'd, I'd like to hear about it. Um, I just try to be as natural, you know, sometimes you um, write in some stuff and the music takes you to, normally to the right place. And sometimes the song, you know, it's got a nice hook and you think about it but I, I never think of, I never think about it to you know um, just to be commercial or trying to play something look for something just to sell more albums or to get more famous. No, I just I'm trying to be natural. Sometimes you write a, a blues song, which is not not a lot of you know, commercial music, and sometimes you hear like more funky tune and it's more he's got like a strong hook that people gonna like it. So it, it's good to have the mixing of both like. Don't forget about the roots of your music, like blues and jazz or whatever is your root. Don't forget about that, respect them, but try to do a little evolution in the music and try to find something. Because I love Prince or I love Michael Jackson, 
Um, so they got hits, they got hooks, but they it's good music. Oh, if somebody wanted to hire you for a wedding or a uh, circumcision mm -hmm. or a uh, <laughs> some kind yeah. of an event, uh -huh. would you be available? Would you make yourself Absolutely. available? Absolutely. You gotta go to my website, alexiasmusic.com, and you got the info for contacts in the United States, bookings in Canada, and bookings in Spain and the rest of Europe. Alexiasmusic.com. A L E X Z A Y A S. Yes. Music, M U S I C dot com. Dot com, yeah. There's another original song from my fourth album, Guitar Shop. This is called The Evil Eye.
wish you nothing but the best of luck with everything you do. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for stopping with us at In a Nutshell today. I definitely appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having us back, man. It's been right. a guest. Thank thanks you. a lot. Sure this is another original song, Funky. This is called Two Hot Dogs and a Strawberry Soda. You guys ready? Oh, 
And I want to say thank you so much, Alex. Thank you, Alan. Thank you very much for having us. Love your music, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And Albert Greenlight. Yes. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Very cool. Very cool. Rob Davis. Big Al. In a nutshell.